Hey guys! So, we're here. We're at Universal. Very excited. We're just like, we're in the car because we're parking. But you can see it over there. You can see small little thingies. And I'm very excited to go in the dropping one because I love those for some reason. Those are my favorite. I love the roller coasters that just like drop you. It's so fun, it's so fun. I like I get like, getting that thrill out of it, I don't know. But I'm very excited and I'm very happy. You can barely see me, but it's fine. I'm very happy to go to Harry Potter World. Yay. Universal, it's scorching, scorching hot today. Uh huh. I don't know what we were thinking by coming here in 90 degree weather, right? Fine. And she's wearing a mask. So you probably heard the announcements in the background when we were walking in, but if you are vaccinated, you don't have to wear a mask in this park at all. If you're not vaccinated, they recommend you wear a mask indoors. It's really hot, so anything COVID is probably not gonna survive here. So we're making our way in. We're gonna show you some of our favorite rides. We're not gonna highlight everything, but just show you what it feels like to be here during pandemic post-pandemic, whatever, however you want to call it. But, you know, during COVID, people are maintaining their social distance. There's a lot of people here, but people are not like literally on top of you. I will see when we get to the lines to see if that's really the case. But right now, this is what this place looks like. And we're not inside yet. We still have to get to the entrance. So right now we still have to get to the entrance of the park. We're just like on the outer outskirts area of the park and we still have to make our way in, which is what we're doing right now. Hey guys, so we're walking into Universal Studios right now. This is what it looks like. It's really tall. They should go vlogging. <laughs> I am really excited. I really want to stop at Harry Potter World first, but we need to see what the rest of the gang is doing first. I don't know why. She has been waiting for this day for quite some time now to return back to Universal Studios. I know. It's only because I love Harry Potter. I love, love, love Harry Potter, and I'm really excited to return, so yeah. That's like one of the main attractions to, for me and for her right now for Universal Studios. So we're gonna head our way over there. We passed a bunch of stuff. There's lots of shows. There was the like the Rocky Horror makeup show. There was the Born Identity show, but we don't wanna go to any shows. We're gonna go right to Diagon Alley. Maybe take the train to the Hogwarts Express. Do you remember the Hogwarts Express? No. You don't remember the Hogwarts Express? No, like, is it, is it like, oh yeah, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. Here. Guys, look at that one. You can just say thank you, because I'll say you're welcome for this vlogging thing, so you, I'm bringing you some of this video, this live content, this real footage from Universal, because I just bumped, almost bumped into somebody. I don't know what this is. Let me, let me turn this camera around real quick. Built. It looks like it's something that's being built. And then this one, she just cannot, con she cannot contain this one. She cannot contain her excitement. She's just super excited all the time. So they saw like girls walking around with like the Harry Potter like robes and starts like, we should have dressed like that. I'm like, I dressed you like that when you were children. And we're gonna show you, I'm gonna, we're gonna include some of the footage from our previous Universal Studios trip so you can see that. Anyway, I gotta conserve battery, so I'll see you later. We're gonna make our way to Harry Potter. So we got off of the Simpsons ride and it was actually really fun. So basically what it is, is a 3D ride. You don't get like the glasses, but what is it? It's a 4D ride. Yeah, 4D ride and like it takes you like 
it kind of just like shakes your car and like it's really fun though it doesn't sound as fun but it's really really fun so i suggest if you're coming here to universal studios you should definitely go on the ride it's pretty much like the first kind of ish ride once you walk in like the third or fourth yeah so like it's really fun to go to i would suggest you would go to that and yeah we'll see you at the next ride so guys we're about to walk into diagon alley and we're gonna actually go through this it looks like basically you're walking into like a restaurant or something but it's not there we go it's like you're transformed into a different world So why I like butterbeer, I have to find out. This has been so long that I haven't had it. Uh, but since two, but 2015. A long time since we've been back here. So, and now uh, I'm going to try to taste it, but i got to wait on this all line. That's why you come in like February. Because you're going to have to do this. Yeah, last time we were here. So guys, if you see like the people with waving their wands behind me, yep, you see right there. If you see them waving their wands, it's because they have wands and within the Wizarding World of Harry Potter Park, there are certain spots where your wands actually create magic and they work. So you basically can wave your wand and something cool will happen. So let's go check it out. What's supposed to happen when you wave the wand? Oh, okay, let's see. Water's supposed to come out. <laughs> Let's see another try by another soul. Maybe somebody. Oh, there you go. Good job. There's the frog sending that water out. Where the water shoots out from the top. Oh, it's random. Oh, okay, thank you. All right. So you heard it. If you're gonna be waving your wands around here and trying to get water to shoot out of the top, top of that thing right there, it's random. What you can do is you can get water to come out of the frog. And that's that right there. There you go, yeah. Daddy got his butterbeer? How'd you not catch that one? There's like two times. You just shot out. Because you called, mama, mama, mama. This is random. This water right here is random. So we are in the lockers and if you rent a small locker, it's free for your ride. But if you want a bigger locker like the ones over there, if I'm trying to turn the camera, then you pay two dollars for them. For this we got like all, all you do is you activate your you show your like barcode here and then it automatically you scan it right here, like you scan it like that. And then what it does is it, it's opening this, it's reopening this locker, but this is our locker. It automatically popped open, so you can kind of see it there. Yep. All right, and that's it. We just walked out of the lockers. We got our stuff. If you were going on the Gringotts ride, you have to put your stuff in a locker and they let you use it for free until you get off the ride. Now that we waited 55 minutes for this line, because the fast pass now is about $320 a person. So we opted not for that because it would have been like 1200 bucks. So now that we have gotten off this line, oh, well actually the park experience would have been like $2,000 with the tickets and everything. Insane. Yeah. Insane. So was the wait worth it for that round? No, I don't, I don't think so. Or maybe because we've been on it before. But I don't think it was worth the wait. Like, just like, it, it wasn't. Yep. That was like one fun drop, and that's about it. It really wasn't worth the biggest wait, but it's all right. I think we're going to go on to another ride now. Okay. For the amount of people that are here, what do you think of the restrooms? Clean. Very clean, right? Very, very clean. 
So what's the men's restroom called? I don't know. How do you know? Wizards. Oh, wizards. Sorry. And what about the women's? Witches? Yes. Sure. <laughs> Behind me looks quite happy. Quite happy, I tell you. Hey guys, full day here at Universal. So you saw us go on a bunch of rides. We just finished going into the mummy ride. And now I think to close off the evening, we're gonna go to the Jimmy Fallon show ride. There we go. It's a race through New York. And everybody's hot and tired, so I think we're really ready to just go back to the room and just chill. And there's literally like a five minute wait, so we're just gonna go for it, we're just gonna do it. Why not? I have to say, Jimmy Fallon is hilarious. And it's been one of my goals for the longest, longest amount of time to go to the Jimmy Fallon show. So if one of you guys are watching Jimmy Fallon show? I, I, I have watched it a bunch of times. I love the show. No, I wanna go. I wanna go, I'm just telling her. I wanna go to the show. So if you're watching Jimmy Fallon, invite me to your show, please. <laughs> anyway, here we are. time we had with the family another beautiful memory down in the photo books but I just want to let you guys know that when you're here do the Jimmy Fallon ride it's, it's nobody there I don't think anybody thinks of it as a ride or anything like that I know I didn't but it was fun it's a great time like comment and describe if you're like me and you get really dizzy in the heat like I, I feel like I'm gonna pass out but you still want to go on rides I still want to go on rides, but I get really dizzy from the heat. So bring water, first of all. My favorite ride was the roller coaster, the rock and roll, whatever it was, right? That was one of my favorite rides, and the other one was the Simpsons ride. That one was really good. I'm sorry, I'm really hot. Like, I feel dizzy. You guys are out. But yeah, that's pretty much my review. And like, don't buy anything, because like, it's like really expensive here. But yeah, it's really fun, so come with your family or friends. My greatest tip is just in general, don't come in the summer, come in the winter time. Or fall. Or in the fall, if you're from the north and you're not from the So, a couple of tips I have if you're coming here. Like Anjali said before, you can pack a backpack, pack some water bottles, it'll help you last throughout the day, pack some nuts and snacks with you. It is very hot in the summertime, so just keeping that in mind, it's also very crowded, you know, during COVID. They don't now have the, the um, if you're back vaccinated, you don't have to wear a mask. If you're not vaccinated, then you have to wear a mask indoors, so keep that in mind. Um, people are not really maintaining social distance, so if you are someone that gets really freaked out about that, then just, that's another thing that you want to think about. The cool thing is, we did like massage, we walked through so many single rider um, lines because the kids are a lot older, so that did save us some money. We are gonna go to dinner tonight, so I'm really excited to eat a good meal. But we ate a nice big breakfast, and it's about six o'clock now, and we're headed back because we want to get out of the park before it gets really crowded and lots of people start exiting at the same time. So, hope you guys enjoyed. See you later. Bye.